everybody, Gary Heydrich here for this week's Fish and Chums Fishing Report. Me and my old sidekick, Tuffy, we just put in here at uh, Ants Creek on Table Rock a few minutes ago. And boy, it's going to be a beautiful morning. We're going to try to catch a few crappie. Hopefully we'll have a report for you next week because it's absolutely beautiful out here. And there's some crappie being caught on Table Rock. So we'll be talking about this later on. But uh, we're just going to start out at Truman, kind of work around the horn and come back here to Table Rock. All right, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, you're a good boy. All right, let's go to Truman. You know, uh, they're still catching crappie out of Truman, but I tell you, it's not quite as good as it was up on the flats and the pole timbers it was two or three weeks ago. They're still picking up fish there, but uh, it's kind of going to the winter pattern at Truman. More fish are being caught on the bluffs out at Truman Lake. And so what the people have been doing is getting out there and using like a 16th ounce jig head and just a swim body, a jig, kind of a, kind of a shad type body, and pitching it out, counting it down to about 12, 15, and swimming it real slow back to the boat. And so, uh, they've been picking up quite a few crappie out at Truman. And especially if you can find a bluff with some uh, cedar trees and pole timber and brush, you're gonna catch fish. Sometimes they're on the, on the points of the bluffs. So try bluff fishing at Truman Lake this week you may catch your, this weekend, you may catch yourself some fish. You went down toughy, okay. Other than that, uh, if you can find an isolated cedar tree, get that trolling motor down, that electric motor, and ease over there and just vertically fish the jigs. This may pay off as well. Just get right down in those cedar trees. You know, uh, they've had some wind out at uh, Truman Lake this week, like all the lakes, and so some of the points kind of have been paying at KK Island down through that area. They've been picking up some fish on the windy point, some hybrids and white bass. You may want to check this out. And you cat fishermen, hey, I've had good reports this week on cut shad out at Truman. But the crappie's a big thing out there. I think you can get out there this weekend. I think you're going to catch fish, some nice crappie. You know, the last four or five weeks here on the program, I've been talking about Lake of the Ozark and the good crappie fishing out there. Uh, sometimes they're not picking a lot numbers, but boy, nice size fish. We've had good reports of 13, 14, 15 inch, once in a while even one over 15 inches. Same pattern as the last few weeks. They're shallower on Lake the Ozark, more shallow than they are at Truman and, and some of the other lakes around the area. They're anywhere from 4, 6 to 8 feet of water, and once in a while 10 feet. You find a bank with some brush on it, and get out there and with a swimming jig, a swimming minnow, uh, like 16th ounce jig, put your shad body on it and work it back to the boat. If you're not good with a jig, just go, t I tell you what folks, just go to a, a, a minnow. Just, just a little split shot up above your hook, maybe about eight inches, a small hook. Put your minnow and just cut it, just tip it right through the lips and pitch it out and let it drop and watch that thing and you can pick up some fish by this. But the boys, that uh, I tell you what, the good jig fishermen are catching some really nice sized fish out of the Lake of the Ozarks. Bass fishing picking up there out, out there as well. Had some pretty good reports this week on crankbaits and also they've been picking up some fish on uh, the spinner baits, slow rolling spinner baits. So check out Lake of the Ozarks this weekend, especially that crappie fishing. All right, let's go to Bull Shoals. We've got some pretty good reports coming out of Bull Shoals. They've uh, had some pretty good bass fishing out there this week in the wind. If you have wind this weekend, get out there with a spinner bait, a tandem spinner bait. Fish the bluffs, the bluff points, and back into the creek arms. But especially, you got to have wind. Pitch that spinner bait out, kind of work it fairly fast off that shallow area, and then once you get to the deeper area, slow it down, kind of slow roll it. So you may want to put your boat out in 15 to 20 feet of water. Pitch shallow. Work that spinner bait fast, then slow it down. You're going to catch some fish, especially in the wind once again. Uh, half ounce football jigs have been picking up some fish out there. And a word we haven't heard too much about, jig and pig. There's been some jig and pig fishing out at uh, several of the lakes right now. That's really produced some pretty good bass fishing this last week. Uh, let's see, let's go back into the creek arms, Music Creek and some of these areas that have some laydowns. Go to the square bell crankbaits at, at uh, Bull Shoals and the spinner baits. And I've had some reports, pretty good reports on the points and secondary points, wiggle warts, the crawdad colored wiggle warts. Try this 
at uh, bull shoals. Few crappie have been caught at bull shoals in a brush pile. They're deeper than Lake of the Ozarks. Go down around 15 to 18 to 22 feet of water under brush piles. And they've had some fair walleye fishing this week in the wind. They've been getting out there and fishing bull shoals of points and secondary points with the, uh, the, the night crawlers. And they've been picking up some fish by trolling as well. But those bottom bouncers have been paying off on the points and secondary points. You may want to check this out this weekend at Bull Shoals. Tanny Como, a quick report. We was out there the other day again, just like last week, and they're, they're picking up fish. It's not great fishing. You can catch trout without a doubt. You can catch them on a variety of baits, but I tell you what, when it's real slow, they haven't been running too much water, just use the night crawlers. Don't use the whole night crawlers because these trout are a little finicky. Like I mentioned on last week's program, use about a third of a night crawler on a hook and put, a, put a, just a split shot up above about seven or eight inches and pitch that out and just let it go towards the bank and then work it back. And then when you get it to the boat, just let it just go right off the bottom from the boat, let it fall to the bottom, crank it up one crank and just kind of hold it and jig it. And you're going to catch some trout by using this method. And those doggone pink Berkeley trout worms are still working. <laughs> That's been working for six weeks or more. Uh, what they've been doing is using the strike indicators four or five uh, feet up above the, the hook and the worm and the pink is still the best color and they've been using this to pitch that out towards the bank kind of working it back and it's especially been working with no current and they haven't had much current out there and they've been picking up some fish still on small jigs uh, the brown or the olive greens but it's been a little slow, but you can pick some fish up by jig fishing on four pound test, those small jigs. Just kind of pitch it out, let it go down, work it, let, let it fall, let it fall, and then work it back to the boat. All right, out here at Table Rock, my golly, I'm out at Ames Creek. I put in just a little bit ago, 59 degrees this morning. And I imagine that will draw, probably get up to around 62 or three because it's really a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna try for some, uh, try for crappie. I love to fish Ants Creek for crappie this time of the year around some of the docks, especially if you know where some brush piles are. And it's been fairly good. Not many people doing it, but the people who are can occasionally pick up some nice crappie. In fact, look at this picture here. Mary from the great state of Alaska visiting our beautiful lake this week. She was out a couple days ago and picked these beautiful crappie up. Look at those gorgeous fish. And she was fishing a dock to run over some brush. I want to thank Kate fair marina for that beautiful picture of mary from alaska beautiful job mary and so uh, they've been picking up some crappie at table rock around some of the docks with a brush and just out on the main lake around the cape fair area the people who know where those brush piles are in about 15 18 20 22 feet of water getting out there using minnows or jigs and around some of the docks here too picking up some crappie Bass fishing out here at Table Rock, it's, it's tough overall for keepers. You can catch some fish, but it, it's been kind of tough. We all know that, that time of year. But if you need to, if you are having a tough time, this is what I'd recommend. Get out on the long gravel points on the main lake and do some drop shot fishing. They're a little bit deeper than they have been. Uh, 25, 35, even 45 feet of water. Get out there with your favorite drop shot rig and just look for some fish. You're going to catch some trout, excuse me, bass. May not be the big ones, but at least a little bit of action. Occasionally you're going to pick up a, a keeper by doing this. Jig fishing, I would try a jig and pig. I've had good reports of uh, some fish being caught. Maybe not a lot of keepers, but some fish being caught on jig and pig. Fitching that maybe like a quarter ounce brown jig. This is what I like. This is what I use here, this picture of it right here and a little kind of a pig trailer on it. Pitch it out in some isolated brush and just swim that thing by and let it drop and then just, boy, you might be able to pick yourself some bass up with a jig and pig. And they also, I tell you what, just like uh, bull shoals, the bass are starting to pick up uh, that crankbait right now. Uh, they've been picking up some fish on the points and secondary points and uh, so check this out this weekend as well. And up the James River arm, I had some reports of uh, some good jig fishing up there. So check this out. 
I want to thank you very much for being with us today. It's absolutely gorgeous out here at Ants Creek. I'm anxious to get out and try to fish some docks for some crappie. We'll hopefully have a story for you next week. I want to thank you very much for being with us. And hey, thank you, Chuck. I met you out at uh, that uh, at the boat dock the other day uh, at Joe Ball, and you're a, you're a fan of the show. We want to thank you for watching the pro the program. And today when I was putting out here at the uh, Ants Creek, Gene stopped by and said hi and said he watched the show every week and we really appreciate that, Gene. And have yourself a good winter, everybody. All right, uh, that's it for the day. I want to thank you very much. Be sure to like and share. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I talked to a guy at Walmart the other day said he loved the show, but he didn't know how to subscribe. All you got to do is get on there and push that subscribe when it says subscribe and you're in. We appreciate it. And uh, be sure, it, we, you know, we've been getting several questions on the program, uh, asking just general questions on uh, fishing and uh, winter fishing. And we're going to be answering some of these questions. And if you'd like to get in on it, well, just go to uh, email us. Go to our email, fishingchums.com. And finally, we know we've been getting some emails and next couple of weeks we're going to be uh, spending some time answering some of the questions you've been asking here on Fish and Chums. And so if you'd like to get on on action, like to ask us a question or share any information or photos, just email us. Email us at fishandchums at gmail.com. I got to go fishing. Happy outdoors, everyone. God bless you all. Check you next week.